to God be the glory for the things he has done. To God be the glory for the things he's doing right now. And to God be the glory, hallelujah, for the things he's going to do. It is word of time. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank God for the opportunity to stand before you to minister oh, and his word, his anointing, and his power. I am so grateful for our pastor, Elder Danny R. Maggie Sr., for allowing the women to come forth in the church. Amen. Amen. Praise God for him. Thank God for Elder Richardson and Missionary Richardson. Thank God for our son over here, Pastor Bill Bryant. Thank God for our own son, Elder Kenneth Camillus. Praise God for you. Hallelujah. Praise God for Evangelist Posey. Thank God for all of you, our family and friends. I love you all. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I hope to encourage you with two words. But God. The word but is a coordinating conjunction. It is used to connect ideas that contrast. You see, in the Bible, but is used to introduce the reason why something didn't happen. But God is a holy conjunction that appears 43 times in the Bible. This phrase always appears after some statement of defeat or red alert 99911 emergency. It's always after our human resources have been brought to their end and our circumstances have knocked us off of our feet. It's always after the curtain of hope has closed. But then the Holy Spirit writes in bright, bold, shining letters, but God, my, 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 my. Throughout scripture, we see but God or but Christ or but when yeah. something was lost, but now it's found. Someone was dead, but is now alive. A person was blind, but now can see. There was no way, but God made a way. Hallelujah. The word but in scripture often introduces the message of the gracious and compassionate intervention of God. Uh -huh. This simple term captures the nature of our God. Yeah. You see, he redeems, yeah. Yeah. he resurrects, yeah. he restores, yeah. and he makes all things new. Uh -huh. All things lost. Yeah. And then we hear, but God. But God. But God. Uh -huh. Moments follow a time of despair or a crisis signifying a pivotal change brought about by divine intervention. Yeah, yeah. They reveal God's ultimate authority and transformative power in seemingly hopeless situations. Yeah, yeah. But God yeah, yeah. moments signify God's mercy, yeah. deliverance, and strength in adversity. Yeah, yeah. But God, but God. reveals that no matter how difficult our circumstances or how helpless our situation may seem, God always gets the last 
word. He has the final say. You see, many people are in the midst of profound brokenness, unresolved conflict in families, financial trials, unforeseen health challenges, marriage difficulties, spiritual emptiness, workplace stress, and the fear of little to no hope for change. But God, moments arrive in those seasons in life when everything seems to be against us. The enemy begins to whisper in your ear, there is no way the marriage can be saved. The conflict simply can't be resolved. The prognosis gives zero hope. You won't get that raise, but God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. You see, Satan is a deceiver. He is the father of all lies. When the enemy whispers, what do we do? We pray. We pray bold prayers of faith. Huh? Woo! This and that may be happening. But God said in Philippians 4 and 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. The Bible says in Romans 4 and 17, speak those things which be not as though they were. The marriage will work. Your children and grandchildren will walk in light and not darkness. The conflicts will be resolved peacefully. You will be miraculously healed. It is already done. It is well. And you will have peace on your job. And you will receive that financial breakthrough. We must walk by faith and not by sight. As our pastor, Pastor Mackey, always says, we must be faith walkers. God is working on our behalf. In these times, only God can reverse the situation. I think I'm going to say that again. In these times, only God, only God can reverse the situation. In the midst of indescribable fear, shake yourself loose from doubt and trust God. But God, two of the best words to hear in a story. But God, we can find hope in the word of God. Everything that we need is in the word of God. Scriptures in the Bible are filled with stories of but God moments. Mm. Noah was convinced he would die on the ark. Yes, the Bible says in Genesis 8 and 1, but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark. And he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters did what rescinded. But God, Joseph is sold into slavery by his brothers and essentially left for dead when they learn he is not only alive, but he now leads Egypt. They assumed that they would be put to death. But Genesis and 15 and 20 recounts the words of Joseph to his brothers. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for my good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. The Bible says in Psalm 73 and 26, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Ephesians 2 and 4 and 5 says, but God, mm, being rich in mercy because of the great love for which he loves us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ.
Christ. Romans 6 and 23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful who would not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. First Corinthians 3 and 6 says, I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. Mm. Acts 13 and 29 and 30 says, when they had carried out all that was written about him, they took him down from the cross and laid him in the tomb. But God, hallelujah, raised him from the dead. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew 19 and 26 says, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are impossible. Jonah 2 and 6 says, to the roots of the mountain, I say, down. I'm going to say that again. To the roots of the mountains, I sank. Well, down. The earth beneath barred me in forever. But you, Lord my God, brought my life up from the pit. Hallelujah. Acts 7 and 9 and 10 says, because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph. They sold him as a slave into Egypt, but God was with him. But God, but God, but God, but God was with him and rescued him from all of his troubles. Now, if he can do it for Joseph, and he can do it for me, my God, my God, he can do it for me. First Samuel 23 and 14 says, David stayed in the desert. Stronghold and in the hills of the desert of Zion, day after day, Saul searched for him. But God did not give David into his hands. But God, 2 Timothy 2 and 19 says, But God's firm foundation stands, bearing this seal. The Lord knows who are he. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. It is mentioned in 2 Chronicles 20 and 15. It says, be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, whatever that multitude is. For the battle is not yours. It's God. But God. The battle is not yours, but God. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says in Ephesians 2 and 4 and 7, but God, being rich in mercy because of the great love for which he loved us, even when we were dead in our sin. There it goes again, y'all. Made us alive together in Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Now, if you are a follower of the Lord Jesus, I'm sure you have personally experienced a but God moment. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? Romans 5 and 8 says, it addresses every believer by stating, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died. We were a rebellious people, willfully disobeying God, but God gave us 
his only begotten son. He gave us everything that we did not deserve. Because of the blood of Jesus, we are recipients of the blessings of God. He gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us love. He gave us wisdom. He gave us grace. He gave us mercy. He gave us favor. He gave us joy and peace and power. He gave us deliverance every time. I wake up and I feed him the floor. I realize that he put my name on the wake up floor. Hallelujah. I could have been dead and sleeping in my grave. But God, I could have been sick on my bed of affliction. But God, I could have lost my mind a long time ago. But God, but God, there should be an eruption of praise in this place. And thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 